This video chart presentation of Ecrypt Technologies Inc. Ecrypt is a bulletin board stock trading our ticker ECRY. Thought we'd take a look at a stock that's been just on a massive climb. You can see from out here in September all the way around in dime, up near pushing 50 cents, closed at 49 cents yesterday. Relatively thinly traded stock, 80,000 shares traded. That's a pretty good day for it yesterday. We'll take a quick run through the indicators, but obviously they're all going to be just moving to exaggerated levels at this point. Great climb with the MACD. Once again, I'm going to touch on the point of when we're looking at charts, a lot of times we look at them down through here and we talk about the divergence back towards zero. And you can see what happens on that break of zero. Strong move followed, moved above the 50-day moving average, continued on, took on a big volume day through the 200-day. A lot of positive things happening through there, and that's why we'll look at charts when the divergence is happening back towards that money line. Similarly with the PPO, ADX down around that 10 mark, something that we always talk about, look for a reversal. Gaining some strength now, obviously, to the direction. Other things that we talk about, holding the upper half of an indicator. 7 MFI pulling way away from the 14 and 21s. Look for sharp retraces. Nice move to the accumulation distribution. Generally having a little bit of an uptrend to it, but stuck in a channel. And look for the breakout of that channel. Jake and Money Flow holding in the green over the last couple months, showing buying pressure is clearly overcoming selling pressure. Something to pay attention to right here. Followers of the CCI use that break of 100 as a buy point because that tells you the stock is trading well outside its average mean. They'll use the break back down through 100 as the sell point. So that's something to pay attention to, see if this is going to break back down through it or not. Holding the upper half of the indicator, a lot of momentum in the play. Of course, the tricks, there was the break back through zero, indicating a bullish position for the chart. Similarly, RSIs, nice uptrend, held the uptrend, retraces held over top of 50, momentum stayed in the play. This chart's a good example of why we use so many indicators when we're looking at other charts and looking for divergences looking for potential breaks through the upper half of the indicator. We're trying to catch bottoms a lot of times because the indicators will give you hints that some strength to trend and strength to momentum is really starting to come into the play. This is a great example of why we use them. Now what I'd look for in this from this point forward is that it's made a big climb. Potentially, the rise certainly could continue. But if it did pull back, I'd identify some support levels that I'd be looking for. Maybe right in that area of around 36 cents. It was some old highs. It would run right up to there. That would be an accurate line for the old high. You can see it also runs right down into that area of 34 cents. That would be the area that I'd primarily be looking for to hold as a support level if a retrace happened. Now you can see this 10-day moving average, this pink line, is registering a 38. After a big move, a lot of technical traders will use the break of that as a sell point. And if it bounces off the support, pulls back up through it, breaks back through that 10, that's the buy point again because a lot of times the move wants to continue from that point forward. They could throw Fibonacci's on here and show us some classic retrace points. But until that top is identified, it's really difficult to put a Fibonacci in there because say this has another strong move today, those retrace points wouldn't be reflective of where it is at that point. If it pulled back today, sure, we could put some on there and identify 50% as a real common retrace area, 66% is another. But at this juncture for this chart, I'd keep my eye on that 10-day moving average and I'd keep my eye on a pretty strong support level, which was a breakout point based on static resistance. There is what I'd call some secondary support that comes in here based on this move right there around 42 cents, which of course that would be the upper end and show some real strong strength if it consolidated right through there and established that support level. But if a larger retrace did happen, you look for the most substantial resistance area that it broke through, and that's right in that area of 34 to 36 cents. Ecrypt has made a great climb though, and I wanted to share this chart to show why we look for different things earlier on when the stock's near a bottom and pay attention for a potential move. Right now, though, this is what I'd be looking for in the chart. But as always, this is merely my interpretation of the ECRY chart. Thank you for watching. Trade smart.